Hello students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to see the equations of motion in a Cartesian coordinates. Okay, this topic is belongs to engineering physics unit 1 that is introduction to mechanics for BTEC first year this and the syllabus is according to regulation 18 for JNTUH. Now let us see this topic in detail. So in the last class we have seen the motion of a particle in one dimension with two examples okay so before going to see these topics so please do subscribe my channel like share and send these topics to your close ones okay now let us go through the one by one so this is a graph which is plotted between x and y from the origin okay let us consider a particle is this one okay which is located with the distance r okay the position of the particle is r and this particle is kept in between x comma y plane so that the particle in the coordinate form that is p of x comma y this is the position of the particle in between x comma y plane okay when a force acting on a particle is illustrated in the figure if force is acting on the particle that particle moves in particular direction and having some components that is x component and y component because it is kept in xy plane it is kept in xy plane so that uh, it possesses two components the velocity components so let us consider okay consider xy plane let x comma y be the coordinates which uh, specify the position of the particle now let vx comma vy be the component of velocities component of velocity vx nothing but velocity of the particle along x axis and vy nothing but velocity of the particle along y axis this we can write in a coordinate form coordinate form okay then we can write uh, vx is equals to dx by dt now what is v velocity of the particle in x direction that is x by t nothing but or we can write this okay so position by time and this one we can write position there dr by dt dr by dt or distance by time or displacement by time or position by time and the velocity of the particle component of velocity in y direction that is dy by dt or dr by dt okay this is dr y by dt and this is dr x by dt you can write it as okay now so this is a velocity along x direction and y direction velocity components let us see the acceleration represented by its components ax comma ay okay after completion of velocity we can find acceleration because acceleration nothing but okay rate of change of velocity is known as the acceleration so that we can write this is ax is equals to dvx by dt okay and then ay is equals to ay we can okay and this is okay this ax this ax we can write it as d by dt of dx by dt okay we are vx nothing but here vx nothing but dx by dt okay instead of this we have written here clear now and this second order differential equation two times of differential equation that is d square x by dt square now this is ax is equal to d square x by dt square similarly we can write a component of acceleration along y direction that is d square y by dt square let us consider equation one this one and equation two okay and uh, according to newton's second law the motion of particle is given as why we should take the newton's second law here because force is applied on a particle and that particle is moving okay moving in particular direction having two components x component and y component so that we need to take newton's second law of motion so for x coordinates Newton's second law that is f is equals to m 
for x coordinate fx is equals to m into ax okay that we can write it as fx is equals to ax nothing but what and this is the ax d square x by dt square so m into d square x by dt square clear now for y coordinates fy is equals to m into ay okay that is fy is equals to m into ay nothing but d square y by dt square okay m into d square y by dt square so these are the okay uh, coordinates of x and y now let us see so if x y z plane is considered then okay so just we have seen up to now that is x comma y coordinates if you take the z coordinates also if the particle is moving in a x y z plane x y z plane let us consider this is x and y and this is z and the particle is considered here then x y and z the coordinates of particle p of x comma y comma z and in that case we can consider ax is equals to d square x by dt square ay is equals to d square y by dt square comma az is equals to d square z by dt square clear this is the acceleration of the particle along x y z plane now the force acting a uh, force force on the particle also in a x y z plane clear so fx is equals to m into d square x by dt square fy is equals to m into d square y by dt square and fz is equals to m into d square z by dt square and these three one two three these three force components along x y z are known as the cartesian coordinates okay the equation of motion in a cartesian coordinates they are called cartesian coordinates along this one and this one and this one clear so these are very very important for long question so be uh, please be prepared for the semester purpose and also okay uh, for the mid exam purpose okay so i hope you understand well so this is the topic of the equations of motion in cartesian coordinates thank you thank you for watching this class so please do subscribe my channel for the more updates thank you